everyone and welcome to Ohio Valley Couponer. Today it is Monday, August the 26th. I'm not sure exactly what day I'm posting this, but it's Monday when I'm filming and I'm vlogging today because yeah, a lot of you guys really enjoyed the last vlog. I know it's been a while since I've really been doing um, vlogs regularly. Um, life's been crazy. If you didn't catch my life update video, I ended up getting like three different billing jobs. So it's been a lot. So I haven't been vlogging as much, but I'm getting back into the swing of things. And yeah, a lot of you guys really enjoyed that last one. So I figured why not go ahead and make a vlog today? So I going to take you guys along for what I'm getting into. I am going to be going couponing at a store for the last time, which is such a bummer. I'm so sad about that, but I am going to make one final trip to the store um, that is closing in my area. So I will show you guys that. I'm going to be making some good dinner. I don't exactly know what yet. We're going to figure that out together. It's just going to be a great time. So anyways, guys, without further ado, let's just dive right in to our vlog for today. And we are going to be heading to do a little bit of couponing. So let's do this. I am in Rite Aid. It is absolutely insane. Like literally this place is clearing out. So the entire, like this entire side of the store is gone. Like everything's emptied out. And then all they have left are a couple of things. Like they have some of these things. Um, yeah, just like such random items left. <laughs> um, yeah, this is definitely going to be like the last time I'm here because they just don't have anything else that I really want um, or that has rebates and coupons and stuff. Um, they still have a lot of like makeup and things, but yeah, it's, it's crazy. This huge store, this is all that's left. My Rite Aid is actually down to um, an additional 50% off of the liquidation prices. So you get 80% off and then you get an extra 50% off of that which is insane. So there's some pretty decent deals um, on the things I actually do have left. Like this is going to be a really nice money maker on this Soothe Eye Drop. This is $18.49, but it's 70% off and then you get half off. So it's like $2.78 or something. And I have $4 on Shop Ma'am, so that's a good money maker. And then the Cover Girl, um, these guys are 80% off and an additional 50% off. And I have $2 rebates. So I'm going to do it on Swagbucks and on Inbox Dollars because I was here yesterday and did it um, on Shop Ma'am and my points. So I'm going to go ahead and do these. These are going to be great money makers with the half off. Um, and yeah, guys, honestly, there's not that much else, but uh, I'm happy. Some nice money makers. Man, guys, all the memories I've had in this place. This is so sad. Like, literally, this is one of my favorite couponing places ever. Like, and I know you've not seen it a ton on my channel because the deals aren't quite like they used to be, but I used to love couponing at Rite Aid. And even I liked shopping at Rite Aid, like at Christmas time and stuff, they had really cool things. I'm just bummed. I'm really bummed to see this place go. Hey, they have some super old movies and uh, like CDs and stuff. 80% off, then an additional half off. So I mean, hey, these would be, these would be cheap. All right, guys, last trip at my local Rite Aid. I'm so bummed. We are literally, Ohio had over 150 and now they're down to four. We do have one about a half an hour away, but at least at this store, this is my last time ever couponing here. Such a bummer. I've had really good times couponing at Rite Aid. Everybody's so nice. So I'm just really bummed to see it go, but I got a couple of really good deals. I had some great deals here with the liquidation. I've done really, really well at Rite Aid. So yeah, good way to send, send out my local Rite Aid. All right, guys, done at Rite Aid. Had to stop off and meet um, one of my bosses to get some work stuff. But um, now I am going to respects to get my free reward. Let me go ahead and tell you what it's all about. So basically what it is, is you get these points whenever you use your rewards card at the store. So I don't even come here that much, but I ended up with over 800 points. 
and then my mom has like 500 points so you can get these items for free with that which is really really cool so i'm going to do this today get my freebies so nice okay so 500 points here you can get a free one of these like cool pops you know the water pops or whatever you put in the freezer so i'm gonna go ahead and get this that's 500 points all right so i'm also going to use 500 points on these wise potato chips so you get a free bag so that's really nice so you're gonna pick these up and then i'm gonna use the other 300 because i have like 800 points or something so i'm gonna get one of the hint waters for free so my mom has like 500 something points so for her account we'll get the kool-aid pops and then with mine I'll get the chips and I'll get one of these hint waters. And then these baked beans are actually on sale for two bucks. So I'm going to go ahead and pick these up for Labor Day. Have those. So um, yeah, these things will be free though. So pretty nice. This is a smaller chain grocery store in Southeast Ohio and in like Wheeling, West Virginia area. So not everybody has one, but if you do, you definitely should do their rewards. So um, yeah, pretty small, right? So got the freebies here plus the baked beans. Literally everything was two bucks, which is really, really sweet. Awesome deal. I've never used the rewards points here before, so this really worked out great. All right, guys, so for dinner tonight, I made something. I've actually never made this before, and this is actually a twist on Chicken Monterey. Now, I've heard Chicken Monterey have barbecue sauce and, like, bacon and all sorts of stuff. We try to make ours a little bit healthier, and it actually turned out really, really good. So for this, we needed chicken tenders or chicken breasts, whatever you use. We had tenders because they were BOGO at Kroger. Got some diced tomatoes as well as a can of crushed tomatoes. Got some sliced up peppers and then had some Swiss cheese. So for this, basically what you do is you are going to get two pans. You're going to get one for the chicken and you're going to get one for the veggies. So start out by putting your tomatoes and your peppers in a skillet and go ahead and let that all mix together. Go ahead and add in some pepper to that. Um, and just let it do its thing, let it simmer. Then you're gonna go ahead and cook that chicken in the pan. We used olive oil, you can use whatever oil you want, and we do end up trimming the fat off of it a little bit later, so be aware of that. You don't have to, but we did. Um, go ahead and let that do its thing in the skillet, put pepper, salt. You can use a variety of different spices to season your chicken even more, whatever you wanna do. As you see there, my mom's trimming the fat off the chicken. Um, then you're gonna go ahead after that chicken cooks, you're going to mix it in with the tomato pepper blend. You can add onions and also I've seen people add mushrooms. We're just not too crazy about mushrooms, so I didn't do that. Let that cook together and then melt Swiss cheese on it. So went ahead and did that. Went ahead and also served this up with some rice. And we also had some leftover corn on the cob from the weekend. And then I made the Texas Roadhouse mini rolls, which were super easy to make. And if you're wondering, I found this Texas Roadhouse rolls at Walmart. But anyways, this is everything that we had for dinner. And oh my gosh, guys, I'll tell you my thoughts here in a second. But it was so so good spoiler alert it was really good all right guys that was dinner for tonight and i gave it two thumbs up other than the rice i don't know what i did to that rice but i think i put too much water in it even though the back of the bag literally said to put that much water in it but it was just yeah it was too mushy so i think i had too much water in the rice like i said even though the back of the bag said to put that much i usually get minute rice but this time i didn't um the last time i bought rice um, I got like Brasmati at Aldi or whatever. Um, so yeah, I think I'll probably go back to Minute Rice after this. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. The rice was a little weird, but everything else was really good. The Texas Roadhouse rolls. I, if you guys saw in the last vlog, I told you I'd update you how they tasted. Those definitely get two thumbs up. They were amazing. And yes, they very much remind me of the restaurant ones um, flavor wise. Even the butter. Now the butter at um, Texas Roadhouse is more like whipped kind of. Um, but this is more of like a glaze, but we just used it like butter, but it was, you know, more runny. It wasn't like a, you know, spreadable kind of butter, like you would get at Texas Roadhouse. It was more like a glaze you put on it. Um, so yeah, but it was amazing. Amazing. We ate every one of those rolls in all the glaze. It was that good. So highly recommend. I mean, it was pricey. It was over $5. But it was really good. And especially like if you're not, you know, you can pick up Texas Roadhouse Rolls carry out, um, which is definitely an option. But maybe you just don't feel like going to Texas Roadhouse one day. And you want to just have them in the freezer. So this is an option as well. I'm not sure the difference price wise, but I knew I wanted to try them. And seriously, it really did measure up to the ones you would get at Texas Roadhouse. Now, it wasn't the exact same thing, but it was honestly really close. It really was. And so I definitely will get those again. I wish we could get them a little bit cheaper, maybe with like an Ibotta offer or something. Um, or a rollback because I believe they're just at Walmart right now. Um, but I definitely would have those again. I, I'm sure I will actually, because they were that good. So that was awesome. Um, and yeah, and then the chicken Monterey, 
I've never actually made chicken Monterey. I don't think, I mean, I've made similar things, but I've never made like that exact thing. Now, there's a bunch of different variations to it. Like a lot of people use barbecue sauce. A lot of people use bacon. We we're trying to make ours a little bit healthier and I'm actually really, really impressed with this. Um, it was really good um, and I would definitely eat it again. So it was really awesome and I will eat it again because we got leftovers and that'll be my lunch. So yes, but it was really good. And so yeah, I would highly recommend this recipe for sure. And you can do whatever variations you want. You could have barbecue sauce. You could have bacon, mushrooms. That's a big one. A lot of people said mushrooms. You could use fresh tomatoes and fresh bell peppers. Just did what was easiest for me today. Um, but yeah, so there's a bunch of different variations. Really good though. It was really, really good. So I enjoyed that. Um, but yeah, guys, I think that's all I have for today's vlog. I really hope y'all did enjoy it. I'm glad I'm getting back into the swing of doing vlogging again. It's been a lot these last six months getting, you know, kind of on track with these three new jobs. And they're not like three full-time jobs, but I basically have three different clients that I do like billing work for. Um, and it's been so awesome, but it was kind of a lot to get adjusted, especially because all three of them pretty much started around the same time. So it was like, okay, I am getting adjusted to doing YouTube and to doing the um, billing work. And honestly, just like the vlogs, these are not the most popular. So just kind of took a back seat so I can make sure I had couponing videos. But since I'm getting more in the swing of everything and like balancing it all out, I'm hoping to incorporate these vlogs more often again. So yeah, because they're a lot of fun. I really do enjoy making them and especially watching them um, back. So yeah, but I am glad to be vlogging today and Rite Aid. That was so sad. I, uh, there is a Rite Aid, like I said, in 30, like 30 minutes away. Um, but I don't know if I'll ever coupon there again. Probably not, especially with bonus cash and stuff because it expires. I mean, I don't know. I never say never, but at that particular ride aid that I was at today, that's the last time I ever will get to coupon in that store um, as ride aid. I don't know if anything will ever move into it, um, but I don't know. It's super, super sad. I really liked ride aid. A lot of really good times couponing there, especially like I think back to Black Friday sales. They had the best Black Friday sales. And so I'm super bummed to be losing Rite Aid. And I know a lot of us are in the same boat with that, unfortunately. But um, they were really, this liquidation was awesome. This is one of the best liquidation sales I've like ever seen. So I've really enjoyed the Rite Aid closing sale, getting to use Ibotta and the digital coupons and stuff. Um, actually, once the store, a note, if you have a Rite Aid that's closing, because I know that like there are some that are behind the liquidation schedule from my store. If when it gets to the point where it's like the extra 20% off of the liquidation prices, my store, at least, you couldn't use your Rite Aid card anymore, so you couldn't use loaded card coupons with the extra 20% off. Up until that point, you could. So, yeah, that was really good. Um, I've just been getting some great deals with the rebates and stuff at Rite Aid with the liquidation sale. So it was a good way to send out Rite Aid. But, um, yeah, so I'm so bummed that they're closing. really am. I'd rather the store stay than to have the liquidation sale. But... Anyways, guys, that's all that I have for this vlog. I really hope y'all did enjoy, and thank you so, so much for watching.